Hi, how are you? I hope you are okay. Uh, today we're going to speak about a review. Okay, I have proposed proposed to you an exercise. Okay, composed of different sentences from different lessons, which are included in the in the program in the back program. Okay, take with me the question. Fill in the blanks with the appropriate answer. So here they give us sentence and they give us uh, choices and we're going to choose which one is uh, convenient. Okay, take with me the first one if you like. We have Malak, okay, worked, has worked, had worked for many companies before she set up her uh, business. So here they give us the first sentence related to, uh, is related to stances. So here which present perfect or past Perfect. So here, as you see, we have an indicator which is before. And as you know, before should be followed by simple past. And here we put the past perfect. So we put Malak had worked. Just to remind you of the tenses. So worked, when do we put worked, which is simple past? We put it when we have one sentence or one action happened in the past. Okay, and we have an indicator of the simple past, like yesterday, two years ago, last night, and so on. Uh, has worked, it's a present perfect. We use it for an action which happened in the past, but still going on in the present, or the traces of the action still going on in the present, or still exist. And uh, the indicators we have, like, so far, um, up to now, yet, ever, and so on. And past perfect we have before, after, let's say, when, already, because, so these are indicators. Why I'm, I'm let's say, telling you about, I'm speaking about the, the, in, the, the keywords because they are helpful. Whenever we have a sentence, we see them, whenever we notice them, we solve the problem easily. This is why it's very important to know them and to understand them. So here before, so past perfect, simple past. So here we say, Malak had worked for many companies before she set up her business, before she started her uh, own business. Let's take with me the second, uh, take with me the second one. They train every day, they can win the, the, the match, okay? So they train, okay, why? Because they want to win the match. So here we have the expressions of purpose expressions of objective, of aim. So we have so as to, for, and so that. Which one we're going to put? As you know, which is simple. Uh, so as to should be followed by verb. Here we don't have verb. For should be followed by noun or verb plus ing form. Neither of them exists here. And so that should be followed by subject plus model verb, can or will. So here we have subject and we have can. We can have subject or could or would. So we're going to put it so that. Okay, so the tr they train every day so that they can win the match. Okay. Uh, take with me the third one, please. We have Kate is just 17. She has written many books. And here they give us this fight. However, although these are, let's say, expressions of... Uh, expressions of what? Expressions of... Uh, uh concession okay although even though even if and so on so they are for uh, the con concession sorry they are for concession so here we are going to uh choose which one is with which one is appropriate so here we have kate is just 17 we can say this part because this part should be followed by now or the plus ing form so here we don't have now we have name and we don't have verb plus ing form. However, should be in the middle of the sentence. Okay, we can say, we can say, uh, Kate is just 17. However, she has written many books. We surprise. So here, however, we use it as a composition to surprise. Okay, she is 17, just 17, but we're going to say, she has written many books. So just, some. so here, and although should be followed by subject plus verb. Here, subject plus verb. So we put um, although. Okay, although Kate is just 17. She has written many books, okay? It's so easy. Next, please. His leg hurts him, okay? Uh, okay, it hurts, it aches, okay? Uh, he play with us today. And here they give us should, mustn't, and can't. 
Uh, these are model verbs. As you know, should we use it for advice, to give advice or moral obligation. Mustn't for prohibition, with like can't, mustn't, and can't for inability. So here, why he, uh, he, his leg hurts him, so he can't play. So normally, and then clearly, uh, we put can't. He can't play with us today. Next, Sophia, the job because the salary is very low. Okay, here they give us three verbs, broke down, turned down, let down. They are conjugated. Okay, break down, broke down means stop working. Stop working. While I was driving, my car broke down. While I was talking on the phone, it broke down. Turn down means, it has two meanings in fact, it means to reduce the volume or something, to reduce, and it means also to refuse or to reject, like a job, marriage, proposal, and so on. And let down means fail to help or to disappoint somebody, okay, don't let me down, like this. So here we're going to put turn down, okay, she refused or she rejected the job because of the salary, because of the poor salary. The last sentence, please, we have Trump, as you know, he's the American president. Uh, okay, Trump, everyone is talking about, is the American president. And here they give us relative pronouns. Okay, they give us who, whom, and whose. And here, all of these can, can be used with people. Okay, Trump is a person, so we can use them. But we can use who here, if we have a verb here. Here we don't have verb. Whom, we can use it when we have subjects plus verb. Subject like he, she, it, or Ahmed, Ali, John, everybody. And whose we should have noun, huh? because it is for position, huh? to possess. So here we're going to put whom. So Trump, whom everybody is talking about, is the American, is the American president. So here just a short exercise to remind you to refresh your memory uh, so as to prepare you for the exam that is coming. Uh, in the next week inshallah thank you very much and see you with another exercise with another uh, let's say uh, uh, another review okay to help you uh, deal with the with the exam uh, easily and quickly thanks